Um, today we're going to talk about pendulums. Um, pendulums can be a useful tool to use when you're on this healing path. Sometimes you will use them in crystal healing. Um, also they will be used when you're working on clients with the use of essences, which is how I use them. Uh, anybody can own a pendulum, anybody can use a pendulum, it's just a case of learning how and finding the, the right pendulum for yourself. The best way to um, pick a pendulum is to actually go somewhere where you can pick them up, you can try them because there's many many different ones. If for some reason you haven't got the opportunity to go to a shop, um, to go to a mind, body and spirit fair where you can have a look at the different pendulums. You can always make one yourself. One that you can make is just a nice piece of wood on a piece of cotton which is like the one that I've got here and if for some reason you haven't got a nice piece of wood hanging around that you can drill a hole in and make you can also just get a button. We've always got odd buttons that are hanging around in your sewing box maybe, so grab a button, piece of thread and just thread it through. Another way is to get something like a necklace. Um, use a necklace as a pendulum. Anything that has got the capacity to spin and move you can use as a pendulum. So I've got, as you can see, I've got a selection of pendulums here. I've got three main ones um, that you can see is on this amethyst cluster here. Um, they're all quartz and a really good way to keep your pendulums charged is to place them on an amethyst cluster or just a nice piece of amethyst as you can see here. I'm very lucky I've got a nice piece, just a small piece will work just as well but it's a, a nice way to keep your crystals and your pendulums charged. Always remember that if you have got a nice piece of amethyst that you charge your crystals or your pendulums on, that this will also need cleansing and charging. But we'll talk about cleansing and charging crystals at another time. So, how to use your pendulums? Well, the easiest way and the simplest way to find out how a pendulum will work for you is to find out what we call your yes and your no answer. So a yes and a no answer for yourself can be simple. It can be something as easy as saying, um, is my name Hayley? Am I female? Am I male? So that you can get your yes and your no answer. Everybody's will be different. No two will be the same for yourself. So one might circle anti-clockwise, one might circle clockwise. You might have a pendulum that goes left to right, up and down which gives you your answers that you want. So all you need to do, connect your energies with your pendulum. Make sure that you feel connected to the one that you've maybe chosen and then just hold it and just ask a question that you know the answer to be yes. So in this case, as you all know, hopefully by now, my name is Hayley. So let's ask the question, is my name Hayley? And as you can see, nice relaxed hand holding the pendulum so that we don't have any stress or tension going through. And for myself, my yes answer is always anti-clockwise. So as you can see, it's spinning in an anti-clockwise direction. So then all you want to do is just ask your pendulum to stop when you've received the answer to the question and then what you also want to do just so that you can double check be absolutely certain that your yes and your no answers is correct is to then ask it a question that you know the answer to be no and as I am a female as most of you can see and understand by now let's ask it am I male and hopefully we're going to go in a clockwise direction which as you can see is what it's doing now. It's 
spinning in that anti-clockwise direction for yes, but for my no answer, it's going in a clockwise direction. So, for many of us who do use pendulums, we have our pendulums kept sometimes in a pocket if we're going out and about. Sometimes you keep it in a pouch and you keep it in your bag. You might go to a crystal shop, you might feel drawn to a singing bowl, or you might feel drawn to some oracle cards. If you're then uncertain which ones feel right for you, that is when you can pick up a pendulum. So you can pick up a pendulum and ask it a question. Are these the right ones for me? And douse over the item that you need. If there's two crystals that you feel drawn to but you don't know which one is the best one for you, douse over the crystal and ask, is this the best crystal for me? Just so that you can find out what works for you. Lots of different ones as you can see here. I've got three, three quartz ones which for me are the ones that I do tend to use the most. Different shapes different sizes so yes different ones one's a polished one cut one whereas this one as you can see is a bit more rough unpolished which is what I like but then you also get ones that are purpose made so different shapes to create so for this one I know it's quite hard to see on the camera we've got one with a, a ball of light at the top and then a cut class quartz point at the bottom to make that one like I show you you can also make your own wood ones which work just as well lovely amethyst one there and a jade one with the green but you can also get ones that are just a metal so as you can see with this one this one is just a metal one. All my pendulums do get used on my workshops. They also get used for myself on a daily occurrence when I work with my clients with essences and when I work with crystals. So um, they're all quite used to my energies. So carry your pendulum, connect with your pendulum and find the right way that you wish to work. Please let me know whether you've got a pendulum, what you like. If you have any questions about any of it, um, please post comments and like.